up, y'all? Your girl, Sandy. All right, y'all know the deal. My bad. Y'all know my voice is jacked up from the weekend. Clearly, I need more sleep, and obviously, we kicked it a little bit with our friends this weekend, hence the voice. However, I did, before those vlogs come out, want to make sure to show you guys some of the work that we had done to our house. I promised y'all we would do some before and after, and I would also, along the way, let you guys know what we used to get some of this work done. As you guys know, we have a big-ass deck. I mean, big, okay? And this was going to be a task, and we had to get it done in two days and we did teamwork makes the dream work so what we're going to showcase is our deck and deck furniture facelift and i make sure to show you guys what i used as far as products and if i don't show you i at least let you guys know in case you guys are looking to do the same thing but it can be done and it can be done yourself so let's go ahead and get started with our deck and deck furniture remodel All right, y'all, here is what my patio furniture used to look like before I gave it its facelift, okay? Now, the reason for this whole DIY was to obviously avoid having to buy new patio furniture. You guys know I'm getting work done to the interior of my house as well, and it's rather costly. So to avoid having to buy an entire new patio furniture set, I thought, let me try to go ahead and see if I can go ahead and bring this back to life. So you see lots of deferred maintenance on the patio furniture, lots of rust. As you see, this left chair that I keep showing you guys is where I tested out one of the colors of the spray paints that I used to bring it back to life. And I'll tell you guys about that in a minute. There's the umbrella that's been sitting out on my deck forever. And like I said, here is the green that I attempted to use originally with the spray paint that I used to reface, you know, refurbish the patio furniture. So, yeah. Yeah, lots of rust on the patio furniture. It's been out in the rain, the sleet, the winter, the snow, and we just stopped bringing it into the house during the harsher months, which was our fault after a few years, and this is what happens, okay? But the bones of the patio furniture are good. There are no loose screws, so I thought, hey, let me try to change the cushions, spray paint it, and all that good stuff. So here's what the deck used to look like before we gave it its facelift, okay? And as you see, that's juice down there starting to wash it. Now, lots of wear and tear on the deck. Obviously, it definitely needs to be stained. It for sure needs to be cleaned. We've got tree droppings and, you know, mold and just wear and tear from the weather. And we went back and forth about whether we were going to get this professionally done. The situation was when we got them bids, though, boo-boo, we were like, beach, bah, at least I was. Ain't nobody gonna try to spend that kind of money to get their deck done. So we decided to go ahead and do it ourselves. Pardon my dad's feet. My dad came to visit. Now, just so you know, just be patient with this process because like I said, it is rough, but it can be done. It is probably one of the hardest projects that we've ever done. And we've done a lot of DIY, but this was a lot of work and it's a big deck. So here we go. So here's what I use to bring my patio furniture to life, okay? This is the Rust-Oleum Painters Touch 2 Times Ultra Cover Paint and Primer. So you guys already know primers used to pretty much cancel out any existing color that you already had previous. And so it has the primer included. It is in a semi-gloss black finish. Wasn't sure about the finish, thought it was gonna be too shiny, but it turned out really nice. It bonds to plastic, wood, metal, etc., and it's perfect for indoor and outdoor stuff. So that's what I use to spray paint the furniture outside. I originally used green but didn't like the finish so I went with black and it worked out really well. This is what I used on the deck. It's called Deck Over and it's a burr product. Also something I got from Home Depot and it's really like a deck paint. It's way more opaque than a stain and that's what we wanted to use because we knew we had a lot of wear and tear on our deck and we really wanted to camouflage all of the discoloration. Okay, so I know you want to see the finished results, okay? Y'all know I wanted to do something different with the deck, right? Right, so take a look. Bam, all right? Look how gorgeous it looks. It is like night and day, y'all. The finish turned out amazeballs, okay? So, y'all know on the vlog channel, I've been saying that I was gonna do something completely different with the deck this time, and I didn't tell y'all what it was gonna be. So as you guys can see, this is what it was. I decided to do a two-tone deck, which is something that a lot of the more modern houses are doing now. So I decided to go with a lighter color for the floor of the deck and a darker color for the railing of the deck, okay? And it turned out absolutely amazing and literally juice and i did this ourselves it was blood sweat and tears up in this mother sucker but 
we did it and it can be done all right as y'all can also see we got the furniture put together right and that black turned out beautiful that's the semi gloss finish that I showed you guys earlier I went ahead and got some cushions that were on clearance and some of them I purchased from one place and some of them I purchased from another so as you guys can see I went ahead and alternated okay the colors of the cushions on the chairs just to give it a different look you're also gonna notice that the table is different for the patio furniture it will be in a future vlog why that is the case okay so you will see that later on in a future vlog in the next few days but all in all it turned out absolutely amazing we were able to put our bar up in the back there and what we did was we moved our grill to the lower deck so that the upper deck could be more of our entertaining area okay now this is the other section of the deck and this gives you a better idea of the color and you guys see we've used the deck you can see that on the flow because we obviously shot this after we had everyone over at our house but this is just to give you an idea of how beautiful the contrasting colors look on the deck so if you're looking to do something different Definitely highly advised to do a two-tone deck. As you guys see, I went darker with the benches just to kind of give it that little pop of color. I just wanted something different because you guys know my uh, my neighbor actually ended up liking the stain we used previous, and so they got their deck done that way in the same color, and I didn't want to have two neighboring decks with the same exact color. So I wanted to do something super duper different, and it turned out amazing, okay? So here's the uh, bottom part of the deck, and uh, look, the railing, I ain't even gonna lie. It took forever to do the railing. That was the worst part of it, but it worked out really well so here's the other side of the deck coming from the back area of our house and how it looks and it's just beautiful like I didn't go lie I was cussing like a mother look okay during the whole process it was hot but it worked out really well and guess what we were able to put our own sweat equity into our house and add a little bit of value so Here's the new umbrella we ended up getting, which is another story that we'll tell you guys about in a future vlog in the next couple of days, so stay tuned for that. But we ended up getting a black umbrella that was on sale and that worked out well too. So here's another view again of the railing and the downstairs area, the walkway downstairs and all of that. So anyway, I'm hoping this video helped out if you guys are looking to do something similar to this. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy the video if you guys have any questions or comments or whatever the case uh, let me know down below there is more coming because I'm gonna show you guys my kitchen family room corridor hallway and all that good stuff hope y'all enjoyed the video and thumbs up the video if you love it and I'll see y'all very soon stay tuned for more videos on the rest of the renovations love y'all bye